Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about like state design pattern, which comes under behavioral design pattern. I have already covered creational design patterns and structural design patterns, and also we are soon completing behavioral design patterns also, which means we have a complete series on design patterns. Uh, if you have uh, any doubts, please rewatch all the videos again. So please don't forget to like and subscribe so that it will help me to make even more better videos and more uh, quality videos. Now let's talk about what is state design pattern. So before discussing about state design pattern, can you think about like what are the payment flows involved when for a successful transaction? Let's see when you are on Amazon, right? Uh, so you will basically book the product. Uh, whenever you book the product, it, it will ask to the payment, right? So whenever, what is what exactly behind happening like uh, when you click on payment? So there are multiple flows involved for a payment. So first, whenever you click on that uh, pay now button, so that, that there we basically called as like payment initiated. So which means payment is initiated, it is ready to, ready to process. So uh, whenever it was redirected to the external gateway, where you will basically enter OTP, right? So that transaction will basically called as payment processing. Now payment is processing uh, and all, uh, at, at the same time during the payment processing, no website basically gives to gives lot of time, right? So let's say Bookmeister will give 15 minutes, Amazon will give 10 minutes. Uh, to uh, to either to complete the payment or to uh, cancel the payment so which means during that time the otp entrance uh, entire time is basically called as processing state so when once payment is in processing you, it can be two operations one is like payment uh, completed so uh, it will redirect it to the actual amazon website so you will basically see like uh, your product was actually booked the other other operation is basically called payment uh, uh, cancel. So, so so yeah. So these are the two different uh, operations can can be happen once payment once the payment is in processing state. Which means these are all like basically different states of payments. So every state some particular operation will be performed and every and depending upon the op depending upon that operation. Either it will basically reject it or it should go to the other operation. It will decide like. So these are like basically payment states. Now let's discuss about even more better understanding of uh, Swiggy use case. Either in Swiggy or like Zomato or like when it comes to any delivery, a uh, food delivery application, right? So whenever you order the food, uh, what what basically had for the rest for the for the restaurant side. So uh, food, let's say order received. So basically restaurant you received your order. Next, what they will do? Uh, order uh, uh, accepted. So, a restaurant has a, has a privilege to accept the or uh, reject the order. So, let's see restaurant ac accepted your order. Next, what it will happen? Once order accepted, uh, um, food is being prepared. So, this is a, this is the next step of your food. So, once food is being prepared, what what exactly will happen? Uh, uh, delivery partner uh, associated so someone uh, needs to pick up your delivery rate that's delivery partner associated then what state will be gone uh, so um, delivery delivery partner uh, delivery partner basically uh, delivery partner picks your uh, picks your address like delivery partner pick up uh, some. so next basically what will happen um, Food is in transition. Next, what will happen? Finally, food delivered. You can mention as uh, food delivered. So, which means these are like series of steps involved uh, during food delivery, like from order received to food delivery. So, these are like your, these are like different states involved in a one one particular operation, and these are like different states involved. So, which means like for every for every object, there might be different states are involved uh, depending upon the object uh, type of object. So, these states these states are nothing but a combination of these states. How these states are working will we'll basically call as state design pattern. How we basically categorize these states. Now, let's see the standard definition. Allowing an object to alter its behavior when its internal state changes. That's what now, like whenever internal state changes, it the uh, from payment initiated to processing, it will alter its behavior. It, it's changing the behavior of payment. So this object will uh, the object will appear to change its class. So this basically, let's say we have a context where we are basically uh, have so context has a state that can be multiple states, right? So if you if you consider state as an interface, 
so there might there can be like a, a, what do you call like a, a concrete state a concrete state b a concrete state c uh, so whenever let's think about like a, a here state is basically package so there can be like a, a package received package deliver package ordered package uh, uh, delivered or package received these are like series of states basically these are like concrete ha concrete handlers to the existing uh, implementation of state so when it comes to uml diagram we see context class has associated state which is going to change during the program execution so in our example it's like package or payment or delivery so our context is called so what will what what uh, our context will do it will delegate the request to the respective handles so depending upon the state change it will delegate the behavior to the state implementation in other words all incoming requests will be handled by the concrete implementations of the state it's a very easy pattern so there are multiple examples and also we see the logic is separated and adding new state is simple which means like whenever new state is required simply we'll add one more uh, concrete class and uh, concrete state so it will implement this particular state and uh, uh, that will become as like a next state of the particular state like so only so that everything will be taken care by uh, uh, what uh, how the context is changing so first example is like food delivery just now we discussed the second is like payment uh, uh, we already discussed this one and now amazon delivery also it's also same thing so whenever you book the item so what will be what it will basically happen item not yet dispatched it is in store item is in hub 2 so basically item reached to particular hub and then again item is in hub 3 and then finally item delivered and also the state can be changed depending upon you return the object or not like item picked up uh, so from you like to return the to return to the original store so these are like different kind of states in different kind of uh, applications like let's see a simple example let's see let's first discuss our first uh, define our context our context is basically package so we need to deliver this package so for delivery of the package we have the state called package state so what is the package so package state is basically interface so package can go to next package can go to previous uh, uh, and pa package can and we can see the current status of the package so package is implemented by here three operations one is like order state delivery state receive state if you see order state whenever trying to go to next right it is basically setting the state as delivery state which means this order state no knows which uh, to which state it, it can be moved like so it needs to move to delivery state whenever trying to move to previous as an ordered state is the uh, uh, root state right which cannot be moved like this package is a root state whenever printing uh, package ordered not delivered to the office yet so whenever we go to deliver deliver state right here package will go to the next received from order to deliver deliver to received so in previous it will again go back to order when, whenever printing right it will say package delivered to the post office initially package is like uh, not yet delivered no package delivered to post office not received yet now we will go to received state here in the next is like this is the last state like end state so this package is already received by a client if it is previous it will go to delivery state we are printing the status as like uh, received basically so whenever you go to the main function we have a package we have a context so now context has this uh, let's see context has basically set state context can set the state context can uh, print the status uh, context can uh, context can get the state right uh, now what exactly is happening uh, initially uh, if you are not passing anything means the first the, the first state should happen is like ordered state right that's why the defaultly we are initializing with ordered state so if we, if we go to the main function so package initially at the order state or if you if you are setting if you are not setting it doesn't matter i just shown you for an example purpose but if you print the status right it will show the order state if, if you, even though if you set or not set so next it will go to, next we are now or now the state is like order right from order state the next state is like the next state is like delivery right it, so whenever you print on next state it will go to delivery state then you are printing then again it, in the next means it will go to the what you call received state when you then you are printing so again if you try to go to the next state right package dot uh, next state then uh, we will we'll, we'll get the package is already at the uh, package already received by the client so i so let's see the uh, output so package ordered and not delivered to the office yet package delivered to the post office not received yet package received package is already received by client even though what how many next states you are setting 
no we basically commented this particular line right when you run the program uh, it it basically won't throw any error because we already setting the state at the uh, uh, constructor level in the package uh, in the package class now if you remove this uh, if you let's say i am commenting i am commenting here now there is no initial state was set uh, now if you try to run the program now it will basically throw the error like null point exception so because uh, there is no initial state set either at constructor level or we don't or we not even using the set state package so that's why uh, you can set the uh, state at either here or like directly in the here itself like so i think uh, that's all about like a state design pattern there is a one more drawback is there at that state design pattern because because of like because you are hard coding too much like because every state should know uh, what exactly the next state and also what exactly the previous state so if you have like lot of transitions are there it might be leads to error prone and it's also not very maintainable so every time you have to modify the code of uh, from which state to from from where to where to go and and previously where to go so which is a very bad bad principle in general in, uh, while building any software so that's why depending upon the need and requirements you can adopt the state design pattern or you can completely ignore the state design pattern like i think uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial uh, so i hope you got something about state design pattern if you really like the video so please subscribe and share to your friends so that they, it will be helpful for them also so in soon we are completing the behavioral design patterns also so that we'll have complete playlist of like design patterns so in the next video we're basically discussing about strategy design pattern so till the next video bye bye